We're standing in one of our sulfur demonstration plots for our corn college event. And you can see this corn is growing slower than the other corn we've treated for sulfur. This has no sulfur application to it. We notice that it has the yellow whorl on top. It's got some striping within it. It's showing some deficiencies here. It, sulfur has become one of the, what we call ace in the whole products in corn as far as to get it to get up and get moving. Now this corn's in some drought stress and now the sulfur deficiency is taking a bigger toll on it. And we got different treatments out here where we did different types of sulfur at different timing to see which one's gonna push out the best. We take a look at some of our spring sulfur over here. Here we've used some ATS, ammonium thiosulfate, with the corn planter. So the rate's not that high, but it is high enough to get rid of some of the sulfur issues that we're dealing with. We still are dealing with the sulfur whirl, and we're still dealing with some striping, but not as strong as the check itself. We compare that to some ammonium sulfate that was put on in the fall. Now here we did ammonium sulfate in the fall. So the timing is different, the product is somewhat different, but it is in the sulfate form. And here we see the least amount of sulfur whirl and striping. It's still here, but it's the least amount and it's actually handling this dry weather, weather better out here. So as we'll focus on the four hours of sulfur, product timing and placement are all gonna be part of that picture.